early invasive treatment of unstable angina early invasive treatment of unstable angina is recommended in high risk patients with recurrent angina at rest or low level activity despite maximum medical therapy indicating an unstable plaque or critical coronary narrowing elevated troponin suggesting ongoing myocardial damage new st segment depression at presentation recurrent angina with heart failure high risk findings on non invasive stress testing that is in relatively stable patients depressed lv systolic function with ejection fraction less than 40% hemodynamic instability angina at rest with hypotension sustained ventricular tachycardia history of percutaneous coronary intervention within the past 6 months prior coronary artery bypass grafting relative contraindications for cardiac catheterization percutaneous coronary intervention uncontrolled hypertension heart failure or arrhythmia to be stabilized prior to shifting to cath lab if feasible sometimes stabilization may not be possible without revascularization recent cerebrovascular accident infection electrolyte abnormalities acute gastrointestinal bleed or anemia of unknown etiology acute renal failure coagulopathy pregnancy medication toxicity and cooperative patients role of coronary artery bypass grafting in unstable angina coronary artery bypass grafting in unstable angina is recommended if there is significant left main coronary artery disease three vessel disease or two vessel disease with significant proximal left anterior descending coronary artery disease and either ejection fraction less than 50% or ischemia or non invasive testing many of these cases are now managed with percutaneous coronary intervention with availability of better hardware and operator expertise please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates thank you